Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Roshan, or I have a Camaro on the forums, and today I bring you the first. An exclusive method. A patenting method. A copyrighted method. It's Roshan's ridiculously relatable, radical, ratio method. It's five R's, and then method. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, I'm just making light of the situation. People writing, you know, names and the methods. Uh, I, no offense to them. Just I just thought it was funny. You know, great marketing way of thing. But uh, I just think it's a little bit funny. Um, anyways, this is in all seriousness. Uh, this is um this is what I do to make uh, bulk ratios pretty easily. And it, it's a pretty simple concept, actually, and uh, it makes you a gallon of ready-to-use product without really any of the stress or fuss that um, sometimes people have when they make dilutions. People tend to make dilutions a lot more difficult than they have to be. It's not, it's not difficult. It's really, really simple math. Um, but before I get into that, I, I, it's a pet peeve of mine, so I have to say it. When you're writing a ratio, 1 colon 10 that's like 1 to 10, or people write, like to write it 10 colon 1, that's the wrong way of writing it. The active ingredient always goes first. That means the 1 generally almost always goes first. So if you're talking about, you know, one part of power clean, optimum power clean, to 10 parts water, that means you write it OPC 1 to 10, 1 colon 10. You don't write it 10 colon 1, um, it's the wrong way of method writing it. The active ingredient always goes first. 4 to 1, 9 to 1, it's all the same. It's always 1 to 4, 1 to 9, 1 to 10. If you write 1 over 10, like the divide sign, that actually means 1 part active ingredient to 9 parts dilutant um, to make a 10 total. If you write 1 colon 10, that means 1 part active ingredient to 10 parts dilutant um, to make the total solution. So 1 to 10 is actually 11 parts. 1 over 10 is actually 10 parts. Okay, so uh, if you didn't understand that, the, don't worry about it. The main thing to take away is write the 1 first, not the 9, or the 10, or the 4. Uh, but anyways, this is a pretty simple method of um, what I do. You can, you can use whatever you know, measuring cup you have. Like if you have a gallons, if you have this like, pro blend bottle that works. Um, I tend to use this little thing. I, I got it from AG. I forget what it is called. I got it from AutoGeek. I forget what it's called, but it's just a little measuring cup. Um, some chemicals come with their own inbuilt measuring cup. These tend to be too small for my my way of doing this. Don't call this my method because it's don't don't do that. It's stupid. But anyways, um, but yeah, th these tend to be a little bit too small. But you can use them. It takes a little bit longer. So essentially, what I do is here's a unopened bottle. You always when you're making a dilution, you always use distilled water. It's always always how it's done. Um, other waters contain ions which can negatively impact the, the chemical's performance. I wouldn't say significantly impact it, but it's always best to use distilled water. Just like it's always best to use grit guards, it's always best to use distilled water. Not exactly a fair comparison, but you get what I mean. So I have a bottle of unopened distilled water. I have a bottle of open distilled water, and this is actually my container bottle. And you'll see what I mean by that. So first, you have to do the math. With Ultima's waterless wash, um, you use one half ounce to 22 ounces. So one half ounce makes 22 ounces of ready-to-use product. Okay. So if we know that one half, half ounce makes 22 ounces of ready-to-use product, that means one ounce makes 44 ounces of ready-to-use product. Now, a gallon of distilled water contains 128 uh, ounces of distilled water. 44 times 3 is 132, if I'm not mistaken, which is slightly more than 128. Where am I getting with this? Well, if 44 ounces of ready-to-use product takes 1 ounce of concentrate, then 132 ounces of ready-to-use product takes 3 ounces of concentrate. Well, this is 128, so our dilution will be just the slightest bit stronger than a, uh, a proper one and a half ounce to 22 ounces. Um, essentially, we're going to use three ounces for 128 ounces, three ounces of concentrate for 128 ounces, instead of three ounces of concentrate for 132 ounces. It's really not that big of a deal. So, what do I do? Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this. 
What I like to do, this goes up to three ounces, so I'm going to pour out three ounces of the water. Now I'm kind of stingy, so what I'll do with this three ounces is actually put it right back into my container. Okay? You want to make sure this is clean so you're not contaminating any of the water. Now shake this up. Pour in three ounces of the waterless wash. Okay. I might spill some. Okay. And if you spill some, don't don't really worry about it. It's not it's not a huge deal. All right. So then shake this up. about 15 seconds or 20 seconds or however long it took, I made um, a gallon of Ultima Waterless Wash Concentrate. I can go ahead and put this in my spray bottles now or however I want to. Um, if, because I see a little bit spilled, if I want to put in just a little bit tiny more, I can also do that. Uh, I find it to not really be necessary. I know that every time I do that I'm going to spill a little bit. There might be a little device that you can use to help like a funnel or something that might help that. but. That's a little bit too much more. That's more work than I feel is necessary. More things to clean. I like to keep it simple. So this makes a gallon of Ultima Waterless Wash just like that, super quick. Now, say if you were trying to make a um, one to ten ratio of Optimum Power Clean. Well, first of all, I don't make one to ten ratios because that's dividing 128 ounces into 11. That's difficult. So what I do is I make one to nine ratios, or I make one to four ratios. That divides it either by 10 or by 5, because 1 to 4 means 1 ounce concentrate, 4 ounces water, that means 5 ounces total of total dilution. So you divide everything by 5, which is an easy number to divide by, or you divide everything by 10, which is 1 to 9, which is easy to divide by. I hope, I'm really, I really hope I'm making sense to some of you guys. If it doesn't make sense, watch the video again. Um, I promise you this way is so easy. You will never go back to your other way. Uh, it's, it's so, so, so simple if you do it this way. If I was to make a gallon of, uh, say, 1 to 9 ratio, the this, this easiest thing to do is pour out 13 ounces of the distilled water and then using whatever, you know, this is a ProBlend bottle, or using this thing, pour in 13 ounces of the all-purpose cleaner. What have I done there? I've, well, a gallon is 130 oun 128 ounces. You can round that up to 130 ounces. It's not that big of a deal. If you take out 13 ounces of distilled water and add in 13 ounces of APC, that's actually creating a 1 to 9 ratio. It's, if you follow that math, it makes ratios extremely, extremely simple. If you don't follow it out, try writing it down. Once it clicks, it'll, it'll, you won't ever unclick. It'll make so much sense. Because once it clicks, it really is the easiest way to make ratios, in my opinion. This is my method, the RRR method. You can call it R to the fifth if you want. Okay, no, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm really not, I'm really joking. Please, please don't call it my method. Please don't do anything like that. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, that's pretty much the method uh, that I use. It's the uh, it's pretty simple. You can make like just like that in 15, 20 seconds. You can make a gallon of Ultima Waterless Wash. Sure as hell beats making a mix in a spray bottle. So that's how I like to make uh, dilutions pretty quickly. Uh, all right, guys. I'll t see you guys on the next video. Take care.